like, yeah. The Americans kind of get it. Clack. Click clack. All right. So last time we left off, <sighs> No and Mullis were cursed. Uh, so far, they can only say one word apiece. Um. <sighs> I'm still kind of pissed off that Mullis one shotted my monster. Um, <laughs> yeah. It was beautiful and well earned. Your dice had rolled shitty for you the entire rest of the night, so you had earned it. They show dice. Um, satire cast his fishing pole or fishing rod and uh, uh got detect uh, or find objects and used it in the form of a fishing rod to help them guide them back. And once all you guys got back on the ship, we cut scenes, so we open back up right there. Um, satire. After seeing these uh, hooligans kind of walking out of this red mist that's a seemingly peered out of nowhere, they seem very, uh, kind of funky. Kind of funky? Kind of funky. What like they done seen, like they done seen some shit they weren't oh, expecting to there. see. Not entire thousand yards there, more like, but mixed with like, was that real? Did I, did I honestly just see that kind of bewilderment with it? So, with that being said, what are you, uh, what are you doing with this disheveled group? I'm, uh, tell them to get their asses on the ship. Let's get the fuck out of here. I don't know what this place is, but I don't like it. All aboard. Heading on to the ship. <clears throat> All right. Now that everyone's loaded on, where what are you doing? You're just I'm ripping gonna... a page out of the back of my book, and I'm writing down, you're some kind of holy man, aren't you? That's what I'm writing on the fucking page. I'm just tapping Bob on the shoulder and showing him the page. I eat the page. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Snack time. Um. Again. I mean, paper okay. is made out of wood. Wood is plant fiber. He is cow. Minotaur. Okay, yeah. He can digest <laughs> it just fine in one of his four stomachs, but like... I was actually going to see if I was going to let his intelligence allow him to do that, actually. <laughs> but with him being a minotaur, that's absolutely right. <laughs> so... All right. Um, no, with you seeing Bob, just take your paper and just kind of shrug it off and just eat it right in front of you. Any reaction? Kind of just sitting here wondering why I thought that would work in the first place. <laughs> Thank you for the snack. All right. Satire. Seeing all these. What are you doing with all these fuck ups? <laughs> Give me two points. 
point five. I need to bring up my notes. Oh um, boy. I would like to turn and simply say, "Hey, fly boy." Uh. <laughs> Go ahead and set course for spaceport Delta Four Gamma Seven, please. All right, we're on our way. Thank you. And with boy. that. And with that, the back door starts to close. You hear the engines whirling up. And I'm going to need everyone to give me an acrobatics check. Nineteen. A fifteen. Nineteen. So eighteen. Can I jump? I have a negative one. Of night. <laughs> Do what? Can I just like as I hear the engines whirling up? Can I jump into the arms of night as he's already sitting down on one of the benches? Eleven. Or like fall into night's arms. <laughs> With yeah. a 15. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. And what was yours, Ty? 11. 11? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> God damn, man. The dice don't like you tonight. So, nope. everyone else has kind of sure footing when the ship comes to life and takes off. You, however, don't. And you stumble back a little bit and kind of fall on your ass. So. No damage. Oh, if it would have been really bla bla bad, you would have been plastered up against the wall. Can I try and catch him? Uh. Yeah. Go ahead and give me a uh, two, two, two. Yeah, an acrobatics check for that. Oof. Not slide of hand. Um, that's a ten. But since I have a negative one in acrobatics, it'd be a nine. Why not athletics? Strength versus dex. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll give it to you. Give me an athletics. That's right. I don't know why I was thinking dex. That would be... Oh, I like that better. 14. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you catch him. He's trying to snatch a four-foot-nine person that's falling. So... Instead of, you know, like, catching you by your arm or anything, he catches you by your collar, and you're just... Oh, daddy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're not drunk enough for that sweet talk yet, baby. He can't talk. He's cursed. <laughs> <laughs> so all you hear was, oh. All you heard was, oh, oh out of bed. Raised eyebrow. <laughs> All right. So, as you guys are going to the spaceport, uh, you receive a transmission. Would you like to? Accept the hail, or just let it ring. Open the line, fly boy. Right. 
it's more Knight's job, but fine. With all the sassiness this droid can muster, it hits the open comms channel to where you see a news report. And it's your guys' faces scrolling across the screen. This is nothing new to you, of course, but it says you're now wanted for the religious fanatics, the Red Pirates. Did they get my good side? Well, what is your good side? I try to make the most dashing grin and turn my chin this. I can't Flyboy see that they did. If a droid could roll his eyes, he would. So instead, he just rotates his head like this. <laughs> yes, I know, quite upsetting. So, I have, like, so, on my palm, just a black spot the size of my palm, my tattoo of creation. So from it, I just want to reach into it and pull out the tiniest, like, little award for best face and just hand it to Bob. <laughs> Yay! That item lasts for 24 hours unless I dispel it. <laughs> All right. So, no, where would you say that you are in the ship? Um, <clears throat> trying looking for liquor. If I was out of liquor on the planet. I'm hoping there's liquor on the ship. I don't need to speak to find alcohol. Okay. Uh, Mollus, what about you? Um, I'd be heading for a couch. Or a bunk to crash because I had a very stressful 37 seconds not too long ago, and a nap sounds great. Okay. You both feel an odd sensation lift off of you. Hello, my friends. Did anything happen? You can now speak. <laughs> Is there any alcohol on this fucking boat? Just from like inside of one of the random rooms. If there are more than one room. I'm literally just digging around looking for um... some shit that I can drink. I think we I had. I think it's in the other. Was about to say, is it? It's either in. Yeah, I think it's in party open chat. Do we want to switch to that one real quick? Um. I can. Uh, yeah, that's where the that, other stuff was. Okay. Yeah, there's the monster. I was about to say I don't or think just... we described the inside of this hauler. Frigate, we do have the escape pod interior, though. Yeah, is I don't it, think uh, we've talked yeah, about this it, one yet, because this, this is the one this that... Or, uh, this would be pretty got. roomy. Yeah, you have the main cockpit, and then, like, the hole in the middle with all the benches and general living quarters, and then probably a few bunks there in the side wings, or cargo. Did you ever play the original KOTOR? Yes. Okay, think the layout of the Ebonhawk, kind of. Oh, okay. 
Okay, so yeah, I'm definitely rummaging around for fucking booze. So, yeah. Oh, question. Is the thing attuned to me yet? <laughs> yes. Cool, because the next thing I was going to say is I wish I had some fucking booze. <laughs> booze magically appears in your hand. Here we go. Perfect. Start drinking. I like this shit. <laughs> Something like that? Yep. <laughs> yep. I was about to rip that one too, Dalty. Yep, that's it. It matched the outside yep. layout a little too perfect. That's it. Uh... <clears throat> you know, I'm pretty sure this is also the Sith Inquisitor ship uh, in uh, like Knight, the uh, Knights of the Old Republic online. Kotor. Probably. I, I've i only played the Sith Inquisitor storyline because it's the only one I really care about. Actually, no, I played Imperial Agent as well because Imperial Agent was fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. All right, so yeah. <clears throat> so that layout. Not even questioning that uh, booze appeared in my hand. I'm just going, yeah, the ship's awesome and drinking. I look at satire. So are you the captain or am I the captain? I think I'm the captain now. Look at me. Damn. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I'm going to go find somewhere to sit. Actually, more specifically, I'm going to go hide somewhere and drink my booze. So that way I can't be asked to do anything. Let's see. You could go to the storage compartment. I'm hiding somewhere. Or the engine room. Hey, uh, <clears throat> Satire, go ahead and give me a perception check. That's a good map. Fourteen. You hear Flyboy from the cockpit. Bitch, you wish you was the captain. Bitch, I hacked you. I am the captain. I wiped your memory. You don't know any other captain but me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm in the cargo hold. I'm going to rummage around in the cargo hold while drinking. The moment he says that, I'm going to the nearest admin computer, and I'm like, I'm double-checking this shit. I <laughs> severed his connections. All right. <coughs> what you want for that? And I'm casting guidance on myself, too, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, And I can't... Uh... It it would have to be an arcana check. Bet. And you're proficient in those, I see. Damn. <laughs> Ain't that just nice? Let's see. That is a nat twenty plus five, so twenty-five. Okay, so you are definitely able to find the files that you need. Would I have a hard drive or storage disk that I could copy, back up, and then wipe the system? Because I want those files, but I don't want any ties of this ship to anything prior. Um, you would have to rummage around and I'm see if you could find around. an external. All right see what I can find on this ship. I want to go, and I'll even be specific. Let's go to the... If I want that, I'm going to go to communications and see what they got in there. All right. I assume I'd be up there for the general uh, 
admin computer. That's where the general admin would, computer would be. Okay. Right. So, so. Yep. Dirty 20. Dirty 20? Dirty 20. All right. So you are able to find a small box of external drives, although they all look like they are full. How much of it is porn? How much are you willing to plug that in and find out? Mm. Yeah, I'll start like file diving and seeing what's on them, seeing what I can get rid of or what's important to me. In this time, you can switch off to someone else because that's a bunch of boring data management shit. <coughs> All right, Bob, what are you up to? Hmm. Looking for snacks. Looking for snacks. All right. So, as you're looking around, you find some odd containers that might be food. Mm. Uh, let's see. What, what languages are you proficient in? Uh, that would be common, dwarvis, and Q curi. Minotaur, yeah. Okay. Um, so you would not recognize the writing on it. Does it look like the jars are tightly sealed? Yes. Hmm. Hey, I'm gonna go looking for the um uh, the person that was on the boat before we got on board, and ask him where the snacks are. All right. So I wanna go look for go and... satire and see if I can, he knows where any snacks are. All right. While well, you're off doing that, uh, Mullis. You're still muted, bud. I know. I was looking for yeah. the button. I'm going to head for uh, zone three and start digging with the uh, table in the security main hold. All looking right. for games or something. See if I can find some chess or something on that table. The fuck is in this car? When you hold? when you hit the, <laughs> we're getting ready to get to you. <laughs> when you hit the uh, holographic table, mm -hmm. all that pops up is religious propaganda. How indoctrinated do you wish to become? I begin to read. All right. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping for that. Good. Which religion right. is it propaganda oh, for? We're going to cut on <laughs> over to no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no. So go ahead and give me a perception check because you said you're in the cargo hold looking yeah. around. Okay. I'm drinking and looking around. Having a good time. Uh, the perception. 16. Okay. So as you look around, you see the same containers uh, that Bob had seen, uh, they look 
tightly shut. Uh, what languages are you fishing in? Abyssal, Celestial, and Common. Okay. So you can read it. <laughs> and I will send you a message letting you know what it's. Ooh, fun. First official win. Yo. Gotta read stuff, guy. Know all the languages. Poster. Okay. Cool. Hmm. <coughs> hmm. Um, other than that, you see would appear to be an emergency food ration storage. Um, some type of bench and a small uh, workout slash altar area. Well, I don't want to be asked to do anything on the ship. I know the course has been set to a space station. Satire's the captain now. I can talk again. That's nice. Let's see, there's a security room. Is there like just a bullshitting? There's a dormitory. No, there's a storage compartment. I'm going to go look in the closet. I'm bored in here now. I'm going to go look in the closet. Number 11. Of the thingy. We can skip back to other people. I'm just looking. I'm literally just rifling through oh, shit like oh, a fucking oh. raccoon. Okay. I'm just drinking and looking through this uh, through someone else's cabinets right now. All right. So uh, <laughs> as you walk into uh, the common area, number three, yeah. I feel a presence come back over you. As do you, Mullis. What? All right, we will cut back to satire. What have I found? Uh, you have found about the same as Mullis. It's a bunch of religious propaganda on top of some really, really weird porn. I want to delete all the porn. Figure out how much I space I have left. Okay, so after you delete all the porn, uh, it frees up about ninety-eight percent of the drive. Start the backup and start for a factory reset on the ship. All right. Go ahead and give me an Arcana check for that. No a problem. See, that's a 19 with 2 for my guidance, so that's 21 plus 5, 26 total. All right. So the download, the whole process will take about four hours. So about halfway to your destination. You're, Can I yeah. Can I to automate or do I have to maintain it? Uh, yeah, it'll be automated. Okay, but... Um, so. In that case, once I get that all set, I am gonna go to... <coughs> I guess the main hold and just chill out, hang out, see if I can find any games or entertainment on that center console or table, whatever that is. Yep. Go ahead and give me an arcana check for that. To see if you do way better than Ty. That's an 
these two dice love me because one's always an 18 apparently uh 18 19 20 21 base that's 18 plus 3 plus my 5 of arcana 26 again <laughs> You can look at my dice, like... I, I, I know you're being honest with me. I'm just... Mm, mm. Shit, Rounded on that dice. You found, you found his dice. All right. I, say, it's, I can literally show you. It's these two <laughs> dice sets. It's my clear blues and my orange. Okay, colors. yeah. Like, they're my two favorites. The only ones that are generally better are these, but not for satire. These guys hate satire. <laughs> so... So if All you really right. Want me at disadvantage? Say purple dice. <laughs> <laughs> so you are able to bypass the security locks that it would have appeared to have been on it. So now you can get on and surf the web, look at different channels and stuff, whatever you want. So at that you point. found cool math games on the school PC. Yeah, yeah, he did. He jailbroke the school PC. Yep. <laughs> She did that out of this, though. Yeah. <laughs> uh, then, yeah, I'm just gonna hang out in the main hold and bide my time since I ain't doing other shit. I ain't particularly hungry yet. Um, okay. I've really only used cantrips. Bob, you, uh... Issues with fighting. I just Bob, you get back, back into the main like hold. A winky and air kiss. <laughs> no words, just thinking of this and how I haven't had to fight, and I'm like, uh, thanks, knight. He knows. <laughs> he catches the kiss. <laughs> puts it in his pocket. Alright, so yeah. Bob... You would have made it back into the main hold area by now. And you see all this go down. You see Satire blow a kiss to Knight. And you see Knight catch it and pocket that kiss. Bob, you there? Bobby boy. Okay, there I go. Oh, okay. Yeah, out. I'm here for snacks. I go over to Satire. Do you know where any snacks are? Uh, I try to pull up the ship manifest or like inventory list. Can I find any food? Uh, you would see that there are emergency rations back in the cargo hold. Uh. It looks to me if you go rummage around that cargo hold, Bob, you might find some emergency rations, but I don't see any uh, delicacies on here. Is there anything you want? Not really. Just a snack. Would I have read anything as to what Minotaur's like favorite snacks or foods would be? Mm, go ahead and give me a history check. <laughs> Efficiency plus my guidance. That is a ten plus three plus five. Eighteen. Eighteen. So as you're sitting there, <clears throat> you're thinking and you're reaching back because that would have been one of the things you would have learned so that some knowledge from way back when you're trying to reach back to. And thankfully, you find it. And you would know that, although he's not going to think it tastes great, the nutrient paste that's in there will sustain him just fine. I want to think of a wedge of cheese the size of my palm, right? And I'll even roll a sleight of hand for you, but I want to do like the ear trick and use my creation tattoo on my palm to pull a wedge of cheese out of his ear. 
Ooh, Give me a roll check. for it. Let's see. Oh, that's only that's only a plus one. Okay. That's only a nine. So a ten. So you're able to do it, but it's very clumsy. What about some cheese? Ooh, magic tricks are fun. I dabble. Num num cheese. Can I just like slide it into his mouth <laughs> with one finger? <laughs> not not just... to put my finger in his mouth, but just the wedge enough so that it sticks and so he's like Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Alright, no, Mullis, you guys are there as well. What are you, uh... I'm still reading my fascinating text that I found. Ramajina in the closet. And I said, what already? And after the weird feeling. So. Um, how long would it take me to read through the document I found? You'd be... Mm. Yeah, you'd be into it by now. I'm, I'm, Go ahead and give me a. Oh, what do I want you to give me? Religion, wisdom, intelligence. Give me a constitution save. Oh, you bastard. Oh, okay, okay. Save is good. Save is good. Fifteen plus four for a solid nineteen. Since I have uh, proficiency and advantage. Yeah. Yeah, man, you're you're super into this. Uh you're super into this text. Totally absorbed. Mm -hmm. My lips are moving a little bit as I read through it. I'm memorizing every word. Because this is the best shit I've ever found. You're into it, dude. You're really into this text. What what great words of wisdom is this that I have found upon this new vessel of ours? I must finish the story. You feel like getting up and donating nine ninety five. <laughs> if only. That way he can get the next module or edition. Exactly. Is there a phone number to call? There is. There is a uh, extra web kind of. Uh, <coughs> can I open a? Can I open a background window to plug that in and see if it actually goes anywhere? You cannot because when Satire went out and was fucking around with it, it transferred it to a tablet so you could continue being into it. <clears throat> okay. Okay, then I guess I'm hunkering down just so I can... I'm hunkering down in the uh, the chairs right there by the door into the closet, it looks like. I think they're chairs. Yeah. Yeah, like jump yeah. chairs. It looks like, like I am bench. all... I am full pretty girl. Feet yeah. under my... Curled up in the chair, just rainy day reading this bitch it is the greatest work of literary glory i've ever found no what are you looking for exactly i don't know i'm just rummaging i'm literally a drunk uncle looking through all of the fucking shit in the house <laughs> whenever he came over for a fucking family event all right go ahead and give me an investigation 
Uh, ooh, that's going to be bad. That's that's not a good one. Um, That's going to be <laughs> investigation. That's four. So as you're rummaging around, really just <laughs> shit over. I'm mostly just drinking. Just, just left and right, just, and just knocking shit left and right. Uh, in your uh, stupor of knocking shit around, you do notice that there's a crate with a bunch of jars of clear liquid in it. Ooh. Is there any writing on any of the jars? Nope. Well, actually, go ahead and give me another investigation. Better than four, hopefully. <laughs> Not by much. Eight. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> no, nothing that you can notice. <clears throat> Clear liquid, you said? Clear liquid. Hmm. I'm going to pick it up. Pick up one of the jars. Can I like open the top? Or is it like, how is it sealed? Give me a strength check. Oh, this is a flat roll for me. All right. Uh, three. <laughs> three? <laughs> three. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. You need new dice. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is the first time they haven't performed. It's all right. <laughs> Still getting all right. <clears throat> um, so, you're sitting there and trying to... No, buddy, I didn't. I'm just trying to open the jar. So, you're sitting there and just trying to yank on this fucking jar. Um, when it's a screw-off. So, mm. just gonna let you... I just take it and I, like, look outside of the closet and I see satire and I just toss the jar at him. Open. <laughs> Give me a. Oh, what would that be? That'd be a dex. Yeah, I am proficient in improvised weaponry, so I uh, get to add my proficiency to this too. Yes, you do. Okay, <laughs> Depending go on ahead. My key rules. Which? Me oh, fuck yeah! All right, so that's uh, a. Twenty-four. I'm a dexterous boy. I'm gonna need you to. Uh... I can't beat that. <laughs> Even if I got. I'm not throwing it hard. I'm. Just, it's just like a little toss to you. Is is it? It is. Is it a little toss? It was is a it? little toss. So I think that your little toss is a uh, little over exaggerated. That's <laughs> Is an eight plus whatever you want to put on that. Or take away. Yeah. Let me look at your... The best thing I could use is performance, then I get proficiency and a plus five. Performance or sleight of hand, I'd think, for a catch. Yeah, sleight of hand isn't that great, though. I definitely can't no. get it. If that's but it is, it is the dex. But it is the dex stat. Mm -hmm. Out of charisma. I'll give you performance because it's a non combat situation. Okay. Yeah, I'm not throwing it like a projectile. I'm more just like tossing it like a stoner tosses some shit across the room. That is a dirty 20, 15 plus 5. Okay. Um, so because you're looking in his general direction, oh, wait, you see I it have coming. Guidance. Let me add my d4. And that's 4. So 24. All right. Like, hands went straight up, I can show. <laughs> All right. I believe you. All right, so you 100% are catching this on bitch. <laughs> I go All I said was open. Ooh. I'm not sure if I can say anything more, but all I said was open. All right. Fuck, I don't have anything that would help me beyond my guidance. So you catch it, and yeah, you hear uh, three. <laughs> you hear no, say open. Can I do like a? 
I- is there like an AI or uh, something <laughs> that I can reference for this random liquid? Because I suspect it's just no, nope, not at the moment. Um, give me two point five. Remember that I rolled absolutely like shit to investigate it. <laughs> So I'm going to hold the liquid, have no reference to it, set it down gently on the center table there, pull out my frying pan, and just be all like, I summon food. <laughs> and with my frying pan, one per long rest, I can summon any food item. So how much food do you want to give me for that? Because I know for a fact I heard him rummaging around earlier and was like, hey, is there any booze? I know that's what he wants, and I don't know what this is, and I ain't risking that. Um, Would you say that's Arcana? Yeah, that's, that's Arcana. What kind of booze? That's a 19, a 2, and a 2. So 19 plus 2 plus 5. So 26. <laughs> You've seen my hands the entire time. <laughs> See, I'm just balancing satire out it this game is what is actually happening. Honestly. But like one of those 20s <laughs> is a 2, one's a 19, so, and then the 2. Nothing happens. What? Uh, but, but, it was already booze. I didn't put the vial in my... Uh, frying pan. I was literally just summoning booze with the frying pan. Oh, the into the frying of, pan? Yeah, the actual vial of random liquid I put on the table. That's not a part of this at all. Oh, okay. Uh, You I'm get a frying pan just... full of a very, very clear liquid. I hand it to... It uh... smells heavily of uh, spaceship fuel. <laughs> booze. I hand it uh... to... Uh... No, regardless, and was like, this is booze. I don't know what type, but it is booze. I'm going to try to pour it into my bottle of liquor that is in my hand. Uh, Give me a... Dear Lord, give me the strength to have the best Wish. college frat bro pour of all time. <laughs> Should this be a sleight of hand? I'm thinking this should be a sleight of hand. <laughs> I feel like that's correct. <laughs> this is a sleight of hand. Let's hope I actually roll good. Oh, fuck yes! I do have frat bro stats. 22, bro. I fucking pour this shit god tier. Anything that has to do with alcohol, I'll roll high, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> when it truly can. your your inner alcoholic kicks in, and you know that if you spill a drop, it's a party foul, and you are not willing to share with any of these ass. <laughs> so, straight up, you pour it down, and every single drop gets into the bottle. Not a drop spilled. I hand the frying pan back to Satire. I try to say thanks. I'm not. We'll see if it goes through. Uh, you just kind of stand there with your mouth open, just... You're very welcome. Take a swig. I just put it back as it's an auto-cleaning. Go ahead and give me (laughs) a... Um... Yeah. Go ahead and give me a constitution save. That would be 19. Okay. The alcohol, the alcoholic in you is strong. Very strong. I told you, give me alcohol rolls. I'll roll high. (laughs) Uh, Just note, every time you take a drink bottle, I am going to want a constitution save. Yep. So, 
All right. I got some straight fucking Everclear in this bitch. Fight me, motherfucker. <laughs> Uh, so about this time, uh, everyone go ahead and give me, nope, never mind. <laughs> None of you get the chance. Okay. Um, all of a sudden you all feel the ship lurch very violently. And it starts to spin. The lights black out. Um, it's just a very violent spinning. It it lasts for probably about forty five seconds, but it feels like an eternity. Uh, when it finally stops. Uh, Go ahead, and I want everyone to give me um, dex saving throws. Twenty-three. Eleven. Eleven. Thirteen. Okay, so for anyone who rolled under a 14, go ahead and give yourself three points of damage. Uh -huh. Because no one was expecting that. Everyone got thrown around. Uh, <laughs> Mullis, you went, <clears throat> when that hit, you went from your little corner all the way into the back of the engine bay. Like, it threw your ass. Like, okay. everyone is in a different place right now. Okay. That's... Well, say, I was sitting down in the main hole. Am I the only one that stayed there? That's, Yeah. We're talking about, but you've got yeah. hella whiplash. Okay. With rolling a twenty-three, I have gone boneless. Yeah, you pretty much knew the drill, and instinct kicked in, and you were like, <laughs> "Drunk body doesn't get hurt." <laughs> <laughs> just fell to the floor, just like, yeah, it's comfortable here now. <laughs> Intoxication buff, activate. Exactly. This is No's entire character. It's one of those alcohol rolls. <laughs> <laughs> I have been steadily drink. Oh, I'm on the ground. I'm going to take a drink. Con save. <laughs> Motherfucker. Yep. That's a 17. Okay. Uh, you're feeling... A little bit good right now. It's this is starting to hit you like you remember alcohol should hit you. This is nice. I'm chilling. And you're already pretty fucked up, so <laughs> you know. Uh oh. So are there any alarms or anything going off now that I'm in the engine? Everything's dark. Uh, let's see. Uh, satire, go ahead and give me a perception check. Oh, and Mollus, you have one word. Oh, wait, hold on. I forgot to mention, um, nope, I don't think either one of you would have noticed it during the, uh, violent exchange, but, okay. 30, 20 Go ahead. Plus you plus. would definitely notice a blue light out of the communications room flashing. Then y'all be lined up there. Okay. 
uh, when you get there, you see a system error on the screen. What would you like to do? Try to troubleshoot and fix it or understand what's happening. Give that me an arcana are. check. He's twirling. 16 plus 4, dirty 20, plus my arcana, which he has 5, so 25. Okay. Um, so you're able to get in, and you see that there was a problem downloading the backup, and a bug was initiated. And it has... Okay. It has completely shut down the system. And it's transmitting a signal right now. Logically, that'd be a distress beacon for a catastrophic technical error. Therefore, I would go into the data management and try to turn off the distress signal and then go on to... Uh, initiating what other, or not necessarily initiating, but seeing what other uh, mainframes I have access to still, and what's down, and what's up, and what I just need to reboot. Okay, go ahead and give me an Arcana check for that. 17, 18, 19, 20, 5, so 24. Okay. So, you're able to get in and shut off the beacon. What you then come across is a list of systems that are down, and they read as follows. Uh, pilot, offline. Engine, offline. Life support, offline. Um, no, scratch that. Life support, minimal. Uh... Gravity, engage, uh, and uh, communication system offline. I just want to yell out from the communications room. Um, remind me, how many of you need air again? Pretty Dead. sure all of us. I, I mean... I, I don't technically need air, but that's a story for another day. Noted. Uh, okay. I have some bad news then. Uh, our life support seems to be at minimal, so do we got any technicians on board outside of me? Or am I on this alone? I don't... I can't talk. Mm. Let's Go see. ahead and give it a try, I guess. I would assume with all the systems down outside of minimal, uh, it would be pretty easy to hear anybody yelling throughout the whole ship because yeah. everything's pretty hard. <laughs> <clears throat> exactly. I'm not too good with computers, but I can move heavy things. Noted. Oh. Very good to have that. I, I can't move heavy things, so uh, very good. I will crawl out of the engine bay and start moving towards Satire's voice using my blind fighting uh, skills. One since that means whenever there's a foe around you, you'd still be bumping around objects. Nope. Um, hold on. Blind sight is a range of ten feet. Within that range, I can see everything in a 360 circle of a 10 foot radius you would see the faint light coming from the comms room what the i would well actually give me a perception check okay but just a quick read for dalty yeah. you have blind sight with a range of 10 feet within that range you can see effectively anything that isn't behind total cover even if you're blinded or in darkness Moreover, you can see 
an invisible creature within that range unless the creature is successfully hides from you. So I have Daredevil Vision for 10 feet. Nice. Um, I need to skip over Perception, yeah? I think I'm good at that. Yeah. Okay. A plus five... <laughs> an 18 and a 19 so 19 plus 5 for 24 for that perception check yeah you would definitely see the light okay but yeah I'm moving towards satire I'm not saying anything I'm just moving as quick at a decent walk I'm guessing with a 10 foot range I'm yeah. not running but I'm, I'm not drag assing either alright <coughs> go see what I can take a crack at helping fix no what are you doing was that Satire asked about computers. I'm better at percussive maintenance on those. So I'll just chill, I guess. I'm going to take another drink. Go ahead and on give me that. Ooh, you're going to be happy about this one. That's a nat one. <laughs> this was the last drink you had for the day, bud. You are out. Ugh. I have successfully rummaged through all the cabinets. My job here is done. <coughs> With a satisfied and... burp, I pass the fuck out. All right. Perfect. <laughs> Bob, what are you up to? Just sitting back. Trying not All to right. break anything else. Mullis, you walk into the communications room with Satire to lend assistant. Need. Arcana check. Question mark. Um, well, we have some systems down and we need to repair them. Okay. Um, I think I have a few things that could help with this. So, could you go check the physical uh, components while I deal with the data management from here? I'll look over his shoulder at the list so I can figure out which components he wants me to check first. Okay. Yeah, I figured this so would just be up, so yeah, he would be able to see them. Life support engines, would that all be in the... Engine bay. Please. Engine bay. Yep. I will very annoyedly stomp at a jog this time since I've just walked the route. Thank you, Mullis. Back. I know you can see so well in the dark. It's a little hard for me to see. Sign language over the shoulders, all the way out of the room. You just hear oh, no sorry, snoring. I see that. <coughs> Actually, give me a roll to see if you can hear no snoring. Me? Okay. Yep. Uh, let's go with these two this time. They haven't been rolling great, but let's put them out. Bob for sure does, because I'm basically, like, right next to him. Yeah. Four <laughs> a 14. All right. You hear him snoring for sure? I'm just going to leave it be. Okay. Um... 
It's for ambiance. It's like white noise. Help you go to sleep. Uh, I don't think any so Ooh, that's an hour out. I'm gonna save that for if I have problems in the engine bay. So I guess I'm stomping all the way back to the engine bay. Um I would like to hang on. Let's see, do I have a light source in my inventory? On my way there, I'm gonna presume, based on our setting, that the torch in my uh in my bag stick. is either a glow stick or like the or like a mag light, yeah. Or like Luke, no, Luke's little torch he had on uh, Pegaba. Oh, I'll give so you that. The yeah. electric candle bullshit. Hey, I'll give you that one. The so crossing pop guard out my... stick. <laughs> yeah. Effectively, I'll pop out my little <laughs> electric candle, be like, motherfuckers, goddamn motherfuckers. And start. Okay. And I guess I'm able, and you are able. I'm I'm ever so slowly visibly checking components in the engine bay. Um do you want an investigation roll for me to try and identify engine versus life support versus other uh, assorted? I want you to give me a history check on that to see if you oh. can determine. Fuck. Okay. Uh, it's story. <laughs> yeah, we're going with the eyeball D20. Um, what do we get? That's a total of a five, big boss. Five? All right. So, <laughs> you know what an engine looks like. <laughs> and that's about it. Mm -hmm. Can I start mm -hmm. trying to activate the systems and seeing what will just reboot? Yes. Go ahead and give me an Arcana check. Bob, you still just chilling? Still just chilling. I'll get to you in a second. No. And that 20? 20 All right. My guidance is one, so 21 plus 526. All right. Very good. Very good. All right. So with that. You were able to get in and the life support you can bring back online. The pilot is offline still. Um, comms are still offline. Uh, but that was your doing. And then uh, the lights are still, still down. So... Say, does anything happen in the engine bay that he would be able to identify as like tried to start and then shut down? No, the engines, the engines are uh, warm still, okay. but they're they're cooling off right now. Guess I'll just holler out. Thank you, Mullis. If you didn't see anything, come see if you can help me with the pilot. He seems to still be offline. Maybe you being here will give me a few extra bonuses to my role. I'm just going to yeet. I look down the hallway. Because this is the, the cockpit, right? <coughs> uh, I'm going to just... You're in the engine bay. You you're in the engine bay, but Jay, I, you can... I know where much... I am, but it's a You've straight a line straight to the line cockpit. Of sight. Yeah. yeah. I'm going... So I'm going to be like to the side, I'm guessing, of the door because I'm poking and poking at stuff, right? My head just going to come around my candle. I'm just going to yeet us, delete us my candle down the hallway into the cabin before I start stomping back that way. Okay, like, go ahead and uh, give me a roll for that. Uh, and uh, which, how are you going to, okay, let me take a look. I 
don't have any. I think it's just just a flat twenty. Unless you've, you want to. You've got um. What is it? What's the question? Uh, I got psionic shit, but all I've got is weapon, right. Uh, no, that's yeah, that's okay. No, I don't have improvised. No, like okay. to pick up random cool. shit and beat people over the head with it. Right. I've got. I can turn my weapons into tattoos to store okay. them. That's my that, and then psychic shit. So far, I'm gonna be hell on wheels against anything with a brain, with a organic brain. So that's a... Okay, I'll go ahead and say that that's like a hand axe level. So I'll give you a plus so three to that throw. A plus three? Yeah, butter knife. Uh, that puts me at a solid 11, Big Boss, because I rolled a seven. All right, Dalton, and then my hand axe mod's a four. Me in athletics. No, in acrobatics. My bad. Unless you want to grab it and throw it back at his ass. <laughs> Should make this a circus juggling trick real quick. If your dice roll good, eight. Eight total. I didn't see this shit coming at all. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> <coughs> So it was a shit throw. <laughs> and you didn't see it coming. And it just kind of bounces off of you a little bit. Bonk. Like you don't even really notice it. Like it hits like the back of your oh, leg or some man shit. Man down. Man down. I've been hit. Nine okay, Ty. Me. Yes. Fucking those were the words. Ty, go ahead and give me. <laughs> Give me figured... Oh, okay. I told Knight to come help me, not go do anything to him. I'm just saying Yeah. That explicitly. That's not how he interpreted that shit. Okay. But that's what I said explicitly. A save? Right. Wait. How, it's not how he in... of... he's gonna freight train right the fuck past you and take care of the danger. That's how he's gonna help you. <laughs> that's a nineteen. It's a 19. That, All right. Deck of Checo. See this real quick. Uh, plus, because of my alert feet, I can't be surprised. Or you aren't surprised by this at all. But, nah. You, know, you, you obviously see him coming. Okay. Okay. Oh, what's... I need to really create a character. <laughs> I told you to do it. I know. <laughs> I've just been distracted. This has been one of those. I'm gonna use him though. <laughs> oh no! I think I know exactly who. You're <laughs> I think I do too. Does he perhaps have a lot of muscles? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> right meow. Yo. All right. So what'd you roll, Ty? <clears throat> A 19 for that dex check. Yeah, bud, you uh, absolutely <laughs> do not dodge this at all. He just railroads you, fucking... Puts his arm up, pushes you up, and runs with you all the way back up against the wall. Please tell me someone has pressed a digitation so they can just make the freight train sound of meow. <laughs> <laughs> I really wish I did, but I can't do that. <laughs> I do not, and I am a Um. Okay. All right. So with all this going on, we're going to cut away from that for a second and go to no. No, go ahead and give me a flat roll.
12. 12. All right. <clears throat> so you're sitting there in this just absolute just hellscape opens up to you now i get it i know you're uh <clears throat> tiefling but it's not <clears throat> it's a hellscape for you so think like awesome shit yeah. instead of fire and brimstone alcoholics anonymous meeting yeah <laughs> you're you are 100 percent in an aa meeting in hell? In a polo and tan slacks. Fuck. Everyone around you looks very, very, um, yeah. Jake from State Farmy. <laughs> Khakis and a red polo. Well, some have red polos, some have blue, you know. I turn and try to leave immediately. All right. Need Go alcohol. ahead and give me an investigation check. People are buzzkills. Investigation. 19. You see two doors in front of you. Um, Odds, it's to the left. Uh, evens, it's right. Uh, dice fell. Odds, odds, it's left. All right, going to the left. Yeah, I don't. I, yeah, no, make I make no no decisions. All right, dice decide. As you walk through this door, you are face to face with a hydra bear. Is my bottle of liquor still in my hand? It is not. Okay. Give me a constitution save. On says 14. Okay. You are absolutely brought to your knees by go ahead pigeon for point of order is this a hydra bear with multiple bear heads or is this the hydra bear that it's a kodiak with hydra heads coming out of his back no it's a bear just, with multiple heads okay like all just bears. just to set this just to set Furry, the scene but but looking like a hydra. It's oh, a it's a multiple hydra. bear? Okay, I probably yeah. have seen a couple of those in the Feywild. I'll beat its ass. It's a multi-bear. It's a multi-bear. Yeah. Thank you. I'm fine. For, I'll That's fight a multi-bear. Fuck this thing. I'll All punch right. you in the goddamn face. So. Sworn enemies of the Minotaurs. I pull out my cast iron. You're not, you are you're there. not there. Oh my god, <laughs> I went from an Alcoholics and Anonymous meeting to fucking punching a bear so, in the face. This is my dream. Next there will be lightsabers and pod racing. Fuck off. I need a drink. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll get to you in a second then. Okay. Lightsabers and pod racing. All right. So your mind is overwhelmingly dominated by this force, and it's so crippling it brings you to your knees. And you just hear this deep, rumbling voice in your head I'm coming for you. Then. Usually it's a higher pitched voice that says that to me. <laughs> then. The floor drops out from underneath you, and you're falling. S switching on over, Bob. You want a drink? What drink are you taking? I just got some alcohol. 
Um, what do I have options of? Go ahead and give me a perception check. <clears throat> 18. You definitely notice a bottle of alcohol in No's hand as he's sitting there just passed out in front of you. Oh, he won't mind sharing a little bit. I carefully pick it up, make sure he doesn't spill. Don't want to waste any. And proceed to sip it. All right. As a point of order, that would have definitely been in a death group. Do I need to do a dex check? I'll give you a... Or sleight of hand. I'll give you a sleight of hand. But I'm not very strong, so it wouldn't be that difficult. I'm just saying... I'll give you a sleight of hand. Just more for point of order. That would have been in a death grip. That definitely would have been in a death grip. You're right. So I'm going to go ahead... Especially with waking up in an alcohol anonymous... Because, yeah, I'm not very strong. I know that Bob will, like, definitely pull it out of my hand. Like that's uh, not a yeah. It'd yeah. be it'd be more of a because you're not going to be like sneaky about it or anything. You're just trying to yeah. pull it out of his hands. So yeah, we'll give you a strength check on. Okay. As you pull it out of his hand, he's just like, not the AA. <laughs> hey, I mean, you know he's eighteen. Out. Like he's out, out. Okay, oh, yeah, you I'm definitely, out. you definitely like just rip it from his hand, and his hand's still like this. <laughs> Just in the air when you rip it out. So, you know. Poor Sod couldn't hold his liquor. <laughs> so, you just sipping it? Mm hmm. Just drinking it along the ride. Okay, go ahead. And Last I knew I was me... losing oxygen, so I might as well be drunk for it. Give me a constitution save 20. Nat 20. Okay. You're feeling good, man. This is this is how it should be. This <laughs> tastes delicious. All right. Going to switch back over to no. As you're falling, you land in what would appear to be a cell. With, well, probably three corpses. I'm gonna, yeah. Yeah, three corpses. Uh, and another tiefling. Living tiefling. Is there anything like, what are the features of the cell? So it is eight by eight. So, I mean, pretty decent size. The three bodies are over in a corner, and the tiefling is uh, bent over them. Kind of like a golem like. Are there like bars for like one of the walls that's like a, do like a way out, essentially? No. No, just like full on like concrete except for or is there a roof? No. It's a roof. Concrete all around. With some lights up top. Think very SCP bare bones kind of so. Full concrete cube with yeah. large lighting. About how far would you say that I fell? It's a dream. <laughs> yes. All <laughs> right. Um, and it, it, it is a dream. I will use a step of the wind, and I'm going to springboard off of that tiefling's back and try to jump up as high as I possibly can and see if I can uh, get out. Um. <laughs> okay, go ahead and give me a roll. All right, so let's see. I uh, got to reduce by a key point. Step the wind. 
boost fun so I can double my jump. Is it double or triple jump? I always forget. I think it's double. Roy seventeen plus uh would it be acrobatics? Yeah. Okay, so that would be seventeen plus six. Uh so So twenty three. That's twenty three and its jump distance is doubled. Okay. Okay. So uh, you successfully do that, and you smash really hard into the ceiling. Oh, I thought there wasn't a ceiling. No, it's a concrete cube. Full concrete cube. Yeah. That's why I said it, and he, I, I felt like he probably didn't get across. Oh, I, I said bare bones, SCP. Well, when you said it originally, you, know. you had it consistent as... You made it sound like there like was an open. open. There was just yeah, lights projecting. Yeah, that's why I was jumping oh, like okay. up because I thought I could try to get up because that's why oh. I was like, how far did I fall? And so I was gonna try to jump and make it through because you're like, yeah, it's a dream, like whatever. You like fell in a like undeterminate distance. Okay. And honestly, yeah. Yeah, I thought you were gonna let him do it too. <laughs> Almost, I thought about it and then nah. But yeah, no, you f you fell into a complete concrete cube, so. Okay, so it's just completely featureless and there's nothing in here? Yeah, so I'll let you redo that. Do you still want to do that? No, because there's no point in jumping head first into the ceiling. Okay. Um, Since there's no... dream, you could have that happen, but he physically rewinds because... No door, there's no holes in the floor, there's <laughs> nothing in here. Ah, uh, fuck it, I'll just sit on the floor. Just sit on the floor? Yeah, right. there's nothing to do. There's nothing in the fucking place except for some dude golluming over some corpses. Give so me a perception check. Uh, 15. Uh, you definitely hear a crunching. And a chewing yeah. sound. See, I'm definitely leaving him to his own fucking device. I don't give it. I'm staying the fuck over here. All right. If he wants to come and fuck with me, then I'll punch him in the face. But according to like everything I know, I don't have my sword on me. I don't have my book. I'm just chilling here. Which I mean, that doesn't stop No from punching people. It's about this. It's the same damage. So like, yeah. Oh. Okay. So. But I also can't talk, according to what I know. Here's yeah, what happens. Here. Here's what happens, bud. So darkness envelops you. Darkness like you've never... Like you've heard what it is for like a human when the lights go out. That's what you experience. It's complete blackness. You can't even see your hand in front of your face. <clears throat> The lights flip back on, and the tiefling that was over the bodies is now standing behind you. Um, bu 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 bu. all right, breathing heavily into your ear. Okay, uh, I reach my arm up loop it around his neck and slam his head into the ground. So, as you try Actually, to... Actually, I'll just grab him by the horns and slam his head into the ground from, like, over my fucking shoulder. So, that'll, as you... That'll be one, then two, then flurry of blows so I can throw four attacks on, on him. So, as you go to grab his horns, you get... A pretty solid lock on his horns. And he whips his head up. And it rips you up off the ground. 
So now you're holding on to his horns like this, and he is now directly behind you. I'm still slamming his head into the floor. I'm a monk. I have unarmed. This is my domain. I beat the fuck out of people with my hands. His head is hitting the concrete over my shoulder. All right. Give me a roll for it. All right. So the first attack roll. Let's see. So that's going to be the actions, arm strike. That's 15 plus 6, so that'll be 21 to hit on the first one. <laughs> okay. Uh, that so is. Then... Damage. Three. That's seven damage on the first hit. Second attack is 16. The 16 hit? Yep. Okay, so that's another D6. And that's seven points of damage. Then going to use a key point for Flurry of Blows to do two more attacks on him. Uh, 18 plus 6, so I'm assuming that hits. That'll be... F that's 5 points of damage, and the last attack is 17. And that'll be 8 points of damage. So after right. I slammed his head into the concrete, I just started stamping on it. All right. The room goes black again. <clears throat> when your vision comes back, the three corpses are now standing around you, and you get a better look at them. Go ahead and give me a perception check. Or no, history. History? Yeah. Same number. Ten. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Uh, so you definitely recognize uh, these corpses as your party members. Yeah, I've been trying. One of them at least was fucking with me. I know that. The other one ate my paper. If they're not doing anything, it's like, okay. Yep, they're just standing there looking at you. Okay. All right. And that's where we're we believe any... you in your nightmare. There will be other booze on me. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> and you don't. You don't have any you booze. You don't. <laughs> All right. So, switching back over uh, to Bob, you've got this alcohol, you've taken a sip, are you uh, just going to leave it with the sip? No, I'm just going to keep on drinking it. All right, go ahead and give me another con save. Eighteen. You're uh, feeling pretty good. Sitting you pretty nice. You're not super stumbling around, but you're getting that nice warm feeling. Okay, and then back over to Mullis, who is currently getting his ass. D <sighs> Again. Uh. 
I guess I'm going to hit him with my telekinetic shove. Try and back him up. So that's a strength save of 15. It'd be, uh, yeah, he definitely makes it. So you just, so all that happens is I go, fuck, and nothing. Um, thirty feet. You do so. Or move five feet toward away. Then that's that's all I got. Um, I guess. Satire. I guess I'll yell down the hall. No, no, play nice. Just make sure he doesn't do it again. <laughs> Fucking bastard. Knight drops you to the ground. And turns around and walks off. H have I gotten to the pilot yet to try and get Flyboy back up and running? Yes, you've gotten in there. Go ahead and give me another Arcana check. Get my dice back out. Or... Mm, Go history this time. History? I'm bad at that. Yeah. You tired of me rolling well? Yeah, I've ar I've seen you fucking well. Oh, you've wait, already gotten history, into yeah. him once, so you should see if you remember. A seven. I thought that was a one and a two, but no, it's a seven and a two. So seven plus two for my guidance plus five. So fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah. Um. So <clears throat> you're trying to access Flyboy to get him to come back online, and nothing's working. Can I just utilize? You his access to get the other things on board online mainly you you have complete you have complete access to the control console mm -hmm. um you just do not have access to your autopilot anymore okay so can i turn things back on from there uh, go ahead and give me an arcana check 19 plus 3 plus 5. God damn. Um. So while you're looking at the control, you can f kind of figure out what operates what. Uh, but because you've never done this with this particular model, you're not entirely sure, but you can... You think you can get it from troubleshooting Guess so I'll, yeah troubleshoot yeah. until i get it Unless all right someone wants to walk up and help me yeah i can't think of what else i could do so with you sitting there troubleshooting um the lights will come back to life um but that's about all that you're able to do and um you're able to access the star map again so but that is about it the engine still not spend a life you're just kind of floating dead in space right now so with that being said uh i think that's where we will uh cut it for the week